What's up? My name is Sagnoba here for Chocolate and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be guiding you through installing and using NVIDIA RTX Voice for noise removal of your microphone and of course noise removal from things like Discord into your headphones. It'll save you a lot of trouble and make things sound a lot better not only out but into your computer. I'll be going through all of that and more in this video here. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the RTX Voice Setup Guide. Upon heading across to it, you'll see a page that looks like this. Simply scroll down until you see an image that looks similar to this and scroll up a little bit. Setup Guide. Look for Download the App and you'll see two options here. The first one is for RTX GPUs and the second is for GTX GPUs. They are different programs and RTX Voice for GTX is a little bit simpler to set up. Choose an input device and set a noise suppression value here. Choose an output device, choose the setting here and as long as these are ticked, it'll be enabled. Then inside of, say, Discord and things like that, you'll choose the RTX Voice input if you'd like to filter your microphone, and you can set them to output to RTX Voice, so it'll filter the output of whatever programs you channel into RTX Voice. Me, however, I have an RTX 3080 Ti, so I'll be downloading NVIDIA Broadcast, a separate piece of software that has this built in. So, clicking the NVIDIA Broadcast link, to which you'll also find a link down below, you'll see a download page. Click download now, wait for it to download and open the installer. Click yes if prompted for admin and wait for it to scan your PC. Click agree and continue. Then choose express, otherwise custom only has one option and is only really useful if you're reinstalling and you need to perform a clean reinstall. I'll choose express, next, wait for it to finish downloading, then installing the RTX voice software, or in this case, NVIDIA Broadcast, and when it's done, we should find a shortcut on our desktop, the main program should open up, and if using programs like Discord, you'll likely get a pop-up about a new microphone or output device. Don't change to them just yet, as we need to set it up first. Then simply click Close. When it's done, the program should automatically start up, and you'll find a shortcut on your desktop. The first time around does take quite a while, and if you see an error like this, simply click OK, 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 close out of the actual software itself and restart it. When you get into the main program, it should look something similar to this. All you have to do is choose your microphone from the top drop down over here and you'll see an effect over here. You can use just the noise removal, just the room echo removal, or you can click add effect to stack both of them together. If this button is turned on, this section will be enabled. So noise removal on, room echo off. For me, I'll just be using the noise removal. All you have to do is play around with the strength over here to find something you're comfortable with. Changing one seems to change both of these, so that's fine. Usually, the higher you go, the more efficient it'll be. However, it may start chopping into your actual voice itself, though it's unlikely as these are AI powered. If you do notice that your voice quality degrades, simply turn the strength down here until you start hearing background noise, then crank it up a little bit. If you'd like, you can use the record button over here to record yourself speaking and change the strength of these, then simply stop the recording and play it back to hear what you sound like. It's super simple and it works really well. The speakers option up here allows you to also use an audio output. We can choose an audio output device here to say where RTX voice output sounds will go to, in my case, output one to my normal headphones or speakers, and we can use the noise removal and room echo removal if you so wish. Turning this on won't have any immediate effect on the sounds of your computer, however. Where this does have an effect, we'll get into it in just a moment. How exactly do we use this? Well, all we have to do is choose the correct input device if we'd like to use RTX voice microphone or the correct output device if we'd like to use RTX voice speakers inside of any software. I'll pull across Discord here for example. I'll click the user settings button in the bottom left, then head across to voice and video. Inside of here, I can change the input device from input one to my default to microphone NVIDIA broadcast. Yours may be RTX voice instead. However, you can see it's currently not doing anything whenever I'm speaking. It's because I need to reboot my PC after installing NVIDIA broadcast. It's pretty much a 50-50 of whether you have to, but if it isn't working properly, you may have to restart your computer. Anyways, at this point, after choosing the correct input device, my microphone should now be filtered depending on my settings inside of the NVIDIA Broadcast app or RTX Voice app. If you'd like to filter sounds from other people speaking in Discord, for example, change the output device here to RTX Voice or, once again, NVIDIA Broadcast. By doing so, every sound that comes out of Discord should be filtered through it and should be cleaned up. This is especially useful if you have friends with noisy backgrounds and of course you're a streamer for example. 
How exactly do we use this inside of same OBS Studio? Well, pulling it across over here, click settings in the bottom right, then audio. And from the global audio devices tab here, we can choose a microphone input. In this case, microphone and video broadcast or RTX voice. And of course, a desktop audio device here as well. Speakers, NVIDIA broadcast, super simple. When you've swapped out your settings inside of here, you should immediately have the effect applied. We can use the audio mixer to change them as well by clicking the settings wheel, then properties and changing it from the drop down here to say NVIDIA broadcast, super simple. That's really about it for this quick crash course. The software just works out of the box. And of course you can test out the camera tab here if you so wish. I don't have anything plugged in right now. So if you'd like to see how to use the camera tab, do let me know and I'll probably get around to making a video on it. But anyways, that's really about it for this guide. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.